Hey, what's up guys? Rob here and I'm the Sci-Fi Horror Guy. Thank you very much for tuning in today and welcome back to another movie review. I want to talk about a film that I wanted to see in the theater but I didn't get a chance to. Um, I saw the trailer, thought it looked badass. And it came out on Blu-ray and I didn't get it right away. I waited till the price dropped and I recently picked it up. Overlord. Now this movie is awesome. It's fun. It's a non-stop ride. It's a 2018 American War horror film. Now how many films out there are war and horror together? I mean, war films have blood and gore in them, but do they have horror elements? Well, this one does. It almost reminds me of From Dust Till Dawn. Uh, you know how the first half of that movie is not a vampire movie. In fact, if you watch that movie for the first time, you have no clue that it's a vampire film until they get to the bar and vampires come out and start killing people, ripping people apart, blood everywhere, gore. It's like a completely different film. That's what this one reminded me of. Because when this movie starts out, it's a war film. There are guns blazing, ships getting, you know, shot at, planes getting shot down. It just looks like your typical war film. Visually amazing, by the way. But then, after the second half of the film, it turns into a horror movie. It's amazing how they combine the two. It was directed by Julius Avery, who is an Australian screenwriter and director, and it was produced by J.J. Abrams. And on the front here, you have the main cast. This guy right here, he reminds me of uh, John Boyega for some reason, but um, you have the villain right here who's kind of a nuisance. <laughs> uh, I actually couldn't stand him in a way, but I'll get to that. But yeah, it says A Wild Ride. That's what this movie is. Like I said, visually, it's amazing. I love the gore effects and uh, the wide shots, the panning shots. The use of CGI is great. And it's got a real simple plot. It's a day before D-Day. And American soldiers are shot down. They're in the plane. They're shot down behind enemy lines where there's a bunch of Nazis, <clears throat> you know, killing people, and so on. They stumble upon a village. This woman takes them in, hides them out, because this guy goes house to house looking for people and taking people to this mysterious church. Now, there's two things about this church. Number one is that there is a radio tower located above it. And their mission is to disable that radio tower so that way our troops can you know, storm the beach and all that. So D-Day can happen. <clears throat> Another thing about the church is that there are Nazis doing experiments on people. They find this uh, sludge that was buried underground, and these scientists are basically mixing this into a serum, in this red serum sludge stuff that they inject into people. And not only does it bring people back to life after they've died, but it makes them superhuman. Now, don't go into this movie thinking it's a zombie flick, because that's the first thing I thought of when I saw the trailer. And it is not a zombie movie. It's not even close. These um, beings that you see are basically superhuman, I want to say mutants, almost. They're mutated. Actually... The serum that's, that's injected into them 
uh, heightens their senses. They have super strength, but side effects are is that they start to mutate um, and they're not really like themselves. So they have really no resemblance of a zombie other than the fact that if you were dead, let's say you had your face shot in half or something like that, you're, you know, you would be able to regenerate over time. It depends on how much of that serum you use. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, imagine Captain America taking the serum, right? Super Soldier Serum. And it gives him super strength and agility and all that stuff, but it has a side effect. Um, you know, you start to mutate. And, you know, Captain America is not really himself. He starts throwing the shield at the Avengers and uh, killing, you know, Iron Man. <laughs> That's how Civil War really happened. Anyway. <clears throat> so these guys are basically there to try to stop the Nazis at the same time. Taking down that radio tower. At the same time, stopping this guy. Stopping the experiment. So they got a lot on their plate. Uh, and the cast is very good. They all did a good job. You have the cocky guy. <clears throat> you have the guy who's always kind of afraid to do things but as the film progresses you get to see him progress you get to see um you know emotionally and um you know physically he overcomes things there's more to him than you know there's more to him than people say that you know like this guy always gives him a hard time in the movie i um, mean he really shows his you know true colors but uh, you got this guy who's the leader uh, of the troops. But this guy here, <clears throat> something happens to him around the second act where I don't want to give anything away, but I'm just going to say that there's a predictable scenario where a certain person, you know, gets held hostage. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I've seen this before. They're going to escape. I guarantee it. Sure enough, I was right. I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say, you know, what happens exactly, but I predicted it, and I'm thinking to myself, like, why didn't you just take this dude out? You got everything you need. Why didn't you just take this dude out and be done with it? Well, because we wouldn't have a movie. We wouldn't have a motivation of these characters to do something. And I get that. <clears throat> I just found it to be kind of annoying. But it's your typical cliche. I mean, I've seen enough movies to actually predict that. <laughs> so that's fine, whatever. I uh, had a budget of $38 million, only made 41, almost 42 uh, million at the box office. So it didn't really make that much of its, you know, it made its budget back, but not that much more. Um, <clears throat> I just thought this movie was entertaining. Uh, it was a ride. It was intense in some moments. And the gu the gunfire and all that just sounds really, really good. Uh, you know, when they're having these gun battles, it just... There's something about the way the guns sound. It's loud and it's intimidating. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, and the mutated people, they are really awesome as well. Um, they are intimidating on screen. But just, yeah, just, it was, this movie was very, very well done. And honestly, it surprised me. I mean, like I said, judging from the trailer, I I pretty much knew that this was going to be a badass film and that maybe I was going to like it. But yeah, I really did. I really thought it was cool. Combining war and horror together. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. But yeah, I picked up the Blu-ray DVD digital. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this movie was a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, that is my review of Overlord. Let me know in the comments what you think of this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Have you seen it? Uh, and also stay tuned for my upcoming series reviews of the Rambo films. Getting ready for Rambo Last Blood, as well as the Terminator films. And, you know, in between, you know, some of those 
movie reviews that I do, I'm also going to come out with some random horror movie reviews and sci-fi and stuff like that, because that's my main staple. But uh, I'm also going to be doing, you know, the Thrill Me Thursday stuff and the Slashback Saturday stuff, as well as other things. So um, stay tuned for more content on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.